You're here, you're ready to fight Davy Grant for the Ultimate Fighter finale. What is going through your head now that you're sitting here in front of all the media and everything's ramping up towards the big finale? Man, it's uh, pretty crazy, you know, uh, you know, talking to everyone and, and doing all this stuff and, you know, seeing my name on this poster behind me and, and just sitting here. It's a, it's a dream come true. It's a surreal experience. And uh, it's been a long six months, you know, trying out for the Ultimate Fighter, not knowing if you're on the show and then flying you out, fighting you on the house doing the whole process and then keeping a big secret for the whole time and not being able to tell your family what's going on and then just the lead up in training camp to the finale uh, it's been it's been a long road and it's just beginning you said for yourself a lot of what you want to do in accomplishing becoming the ultimate fighter is to kind of do it for your family how much does that play a role into you going into this fight really wanting to have i guess something big to take home for them uh, it, it, it's, it's a big part of it, you know, but, you know, for the, the number one focus is, you know, I want to do it for myself. You know, that's the most important. I do it for my for myself to, to, to do what I love and to do what makes me happy. But second comes family. And uh, they're, they're a big inspiration for me. They're a big push. Uh, I got a lot of family coming out to this. And, uh, you know, my mom, I got... You know, my pregnant sister who, who's come all the way down from Minnesota. She's like seven months pregnant. This is her first time like she's traveling. She's a huge fan, and uh, it, it's just a it, it's a, it's a warm feeling in my heart to uh, go out there. And, and you know, my mom losing a son. Um, you know, her first son was killed when I was eight years old, and you know, for me to to do something to make her proud and and, and to give her uh, ambition and and, and uh, something to be proud of her her, her kid about. Is, is very important to me, so uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at it as a, a great opportunity to make my family happy and make myself happy. Sure, uh, you've done a lot here in your career, being a, pretty much an early rising kind of up and coming fighter, and you've done most of your training back with Alpha Male. Will any of those guys be coming out here to support you also? Yeah, uh, you know I got C Coach Dwayne Ludwig out here right now. Uh, Joseph Benavidez and Lance Palmer coming in tonight. Uh, Lance will be in my corner, and I'm pretty sure Uriah will pop his head in. You know, he's kind of all over the place, and uh, he's like a ninja. He'll just pop up, and he'll be there in the crowd, and he'll be there in the ring giving me a hug. I'm just like, man, you know, thank you for the support. Uh, but I got tons of family, tons of friends, and who knows to show up. Uh, I just, I really uh, love the support, and uh, I just embrace it all. He is totally a ninja, though, Uriah. I noticed during your um, semifinal fight that he came into the cage and hoisted you up right after uh, the win. Yeah, that was pretty crazy just kind of seeing that. And, uh, you know, I didn't even know he was going to be there. I just saw his face, saw his tour cat, and I was just like, oh, damn, you know, here's Uriah. But uh, that was very cool of him to show some support and be there for me. So have you picked out your Harley yet? Uh, got it all customized? What's the plan for you here? Oh, uh, you know, like, I didn't want to get too crazy. I just told him just basic street bob and I'll worry about all that once uh, you know once I get my hand raised so like I don't want to put too much time and effort into that. Last thing for me on the show you know Davey didn't get the opportunity to fight that third and final fight in the semifinal because Anthony Gutierrez missed weight. What is your take on him not having that fight? What are your thoughts on that that he's coming in you know basically off of the forfeit from that? Uh, I mean it's not his fault you know he deserved his right to be here and uh, I give him, uh, you know, a lot of respect just for being uh, the guy he is and the fighter he is. Uh, you know, he's one of the he's one of the coolest dudes in the house that I got along with, and I really respect him as a as a person and an athlete. So uh, it's going to be a great fight Saturday night, and uh, he totally deserves to be there, and it's going to go down. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Chris. Have a good one.